Hello, hello! In today's video, we're gonna talk about family. <laughs> okay, the holidays are coming, uh, Christmas, and so we did a lot of time spent with our families. And I know that for many of you, this can be a challenging moment and challenging period of the year um, because, you know, family, trigger, trauma, nervous system regulation, many, many things we can talk about. And um, my clients in France asked me to do a YouTube video on this topic. So I thought it would be really interesting to do it also in English. But let's get started. The first thing we have to understand, and just, this is a, just a recap, and I repeat this in every video, but it's really, really important for you to understand this, is that first thing first, we have a brain and this conditioned brain is always putting ideas, opinion, analysis and judgment about everything. Our brain is conditioned since we are really young and many of that conditioning is coming from your family. So the way you're being educated, the way your dad behaved, the way your mom behaved, the way they were behaving together in their relationship, many of these things, your brain catch up and create programs and way to interpret life and to analyze and believe. So we have to understand first that this thing, this psychological activity is just the way our brain works but we are not our brain what i mean by that your brain is always always sending you thoughts and emotions and these thoughts and emotions are the result of this or those conditioning right because think about it if you were coming to a new planet where there's nobody there i mean you first came in this planet and there's nothing they're just things there is uh, an object that is like shaped in a certain way and then there is another object and then there is different vibration and energy stuff and then a person that was living in the planet for a long while come to you and tell you you know this is a phone and this is a chair and this is a door and you know this is a woman and this is a man and this is beautiful and this is ugly and this is good and this is bad so before you were neutral, you had no ideas, no opinion, no judgment, but in the moment this person of this planet is going to tell to your brain this is this and this is that, you start creating a lot of program and beliefs and ideas and opinion and judgment. But who you really are is not this conditioning created by your brain. Who you really are is the person coming in the planet with a natural mind with no ideas with no judgment just neutral neutrality and how amazing is this to realize that so every time we are with our family our brain is constantly sending us ideas opinion judgment about them about us about the situation and this is just a creation of our brain it doesn't mean anything about you it doesn't mean anything about them it doesn't mean anything about the situation Okay, now you're gonna tell me, okay, okay, Claudia, I understand that, but despite the fact that I understand this and I understand that I'm not my brain, sometimes it's so difficult. Sometimes I get reactive, sometimes I get angry, sometimes I, I'm so disappointed, sometimes I'm so sad, and sometimes I don't answer in the proper way. And sometimes I find myself being like the little girl I was before, and I'm like, what happened? And maybe I'm even a therapist and a coach and I've made so much work on myself. I work so hard on myself. Why I still have those reaction with my parents? First of all, no judgment. This analysis, this watching you, blah, 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 and put it a judgment, I should be there and I'm still there, is your brain. Is your brain analyzing you? Is your brain creating ideas about who you should supposed to be, who you should be, who you're not? So let's just accept that is our brain judging ourselves. Let's, let's just see that the observant of who we are is not the impartial observant, it's still the brain. It's the same voice who's creating the problem, 
is the, the, the same observer is still the voice. So when there is no judgment and there is no opinion and there is just what it is, we can just accept things as they are. Wait, wait. What I mean by that is that when you stop trying to change things, trying to change yourself, trying and hoping for things to be different, you just accept it as they are, you stop the fight and you surrender. And the main reason I see with my clients that bring them to this reaction, this reaction to their parents and their family is because they are not in acceptance of what it is. Because the, the little girl and the little boy inside them, so the brain that was at the beginning, the, the little brain, is still hoping for a change, is still not accepting that their parents are as they are, the family is, is the, as they are. They're still in fight, fighting with the situation, with the reality. When we see that this is just the mind and the brain that is always, always, always wishing for different, wishing for more, is not enough, is why it was like that, we can finally let go the fighting and with no resistance accepting what it is. I sometimes react to being angry at my parents. I am not supposed to be different. Who said that I'm supposed to be different? It's just the energy that is passing through me. Yes, of course, we are here to understand that I don't need to react to that. What I mean by that is that imagine that your, your dad is again judging you about your job and you feel the anger coming. And that moment when you're feeling that emotion coming, that emotion is there to tell you something. Hey, you are identified with a thought and the thought maybe is Oh, that's it. It's always judging me. Uh, why I'm in this family? Why I can't just have the love that I wanted? Most of the time is that. And what I discover with my clients is that we're always seeking for this love that is God love. It's a love that we are seeking in our parents that they're not capable to give us because they're just human. How can they be po- even capable to give us the God love, the infinite love, unconditional love, if, we, if they are just as other human beings with a brain, with ego, with a mind, with conditioning, and they never experience themselves unconditional love by their parents. Sometimes we are in not acceptance of the fact that like, they're just human with a brain, and we're asking them to be something they would never be. God. And when we realize this, like, oh, this connection to God that I'm seeking all my life, I have to find it in myself. I am God, God is in me, I am the universe. So every time I'm frustrated against my parents because they're this and they're not that, and I wish they would be different, I'm actually not realizing that they don't have to be different, they can be as they are, and it doesn't mean anything. I'm not lacking of love. I'm not lacking of anything. I'm not lacking of connection. I'm not lacking of, I don't know, understanding, support. I'm not lacking of anything because I am already under percent because I'm already love. This love is inside me. I don't need anything. This illusion is created by the brain. The brain wants to believe in this illusion. Ah, because you are acting like this, I am missing something in my life. Because you being like that, I don't have that. No. (laughs) It's so funny how our brain works. So this is the first part of this video. The second part of this video is what? What we can do when this emotion comes and we are not seeing that it's our brain, but we are identifying with the emotion and we are just reacting on the emotion. First of all, don't judge yourself. If it happens, it happens. It's not bad, it's not good, it's neutral, it doesn't mean anything. It's your mind that wants to judge it. It's just what it is. Perfect is what it is. Now, the second thing we can do is not just saying, oh, just my mind, you know, and push the emotion away. No, leave the emotion. But leaving the emotion and be with the emotion, it doesn't mean to be in reaction to the emotion. It means like, uh, think about it. 
It's not because you're having a fight with your husband that if someone uh, knock at the door, you open the door and you scream at him. Imagine there is the pizza guy and you're like, oh, hello, thank you for the pizza, this is your, your money. Then you close the door and you continue to fight with your husband. But how is possible that you stopped this energy of anger and you were kind with this other person, you switch emotion? Because you were just not reacting from an emotion. You were not reacting from anger. You, were, you weren't le- letting your anger take the lead. So we can live an emotion, we can experience it and purge it and, and processing it. It's really important because the little girl and the little boy inside you wants you to recognize this emotion, to validate them, to hold space for them. Because nobody never did it for him or for her. Think about it, your parents never were capable to do that. So it's your turn to be there for you. What does this mean? He means that there are many techniques you can use in order to process, live, experience, be with your emotion without being in reaction to the emotion. And little by little, this will bring you to reprogram your brain and not having the same reaction anymore. I use the reprogram your brain, but in reality, it's going to happen naturally in the moment you understand that you're not the brain and you come back to peace because when you were little, young, 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 before the mind and the ego were created, you were just peaceful. You were just there. You were already dead without the conditioning. We had to transcend the conditioning. We had to go farther to see. And it's, simple, it's as simple as seeing. Seeing that I am a peaceful being so i don't need to judge myself i don't need to change anything this thing will be changed little by little as more as you practice what i'm telling you you're not the mind to help you there's many techniques about the nervous system breathing and come back to the body to leave the emotion to be with the emotion to be there for yourself and again it's a matter of mind body and soul and these are the three things that i teach in my program that will be uh, open for english people in uh, in in 2023 really soon and if you want more information to, to about this please send me an email or a text here and i will be happy to explain you how can you work in your mind in your body and your soul in order to reprogram your brain and live in the best life you can live. Be happy in your relationship and the relationship with yourself, with others, and really come back to this peaceful being and creating the best human experience for yourself. My clients did it, you can do it too. So please contact me here if you want more information and we're gonna start in 2023. Bye.